Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church. So we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in. And find a comfortable seat to hear the story of Pentecost. Good morning and welcome to ELPC Church School once again. The Lord be with you and also with you. You'll notice I'm wearing red today and that is because today is Pentecost Sunday. It's the day that we celebrate when God sent the Holy Spirit to the church. Sometimes people call this the birthday of the church. So keep your eyes open because you're going to be seeing lots of red in our story today. We're going to sing a couple of songs today. The first one is called Yesu, Yesu, Fill Us With Your Love. about the Holy Spirit today, we also need to sing our song about the Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. time to hear our story of God. So get yourselves comfortable. We're going to hear the story about Pentecost today. Today is the day of Pentecost. When we remember how God gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. so that we can do and say the wonderful things that Jesus said and did. It happened after Jesus went away and the people of God were in Jerusalem to celebrate the great Thanksgiving feast called Pentecost, which was the 50th day after the Sabbath of Passover week. The people came from every country.
closest friends were in Jerusalem too. Including the disciple, Peter. They were still waiting for the gift that God had promised to send, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Suddenly, a sound like a mighty wind filled the whole room, and what looked like flames of fire came to rest on them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were so excited that they began to tell the amazing things that God did. And they went out to others and they told about Jesus and that God had raised Jesus from the dead. And the people from all the different countries could understand what they were saying. They even heard it in their own language. What should we do, they asked. And Peter said, change your ways and be baptized. You will be washed. You will be washed clean. And you will be new. And you will receive the Holy Spirit. And this promise of the Holy Spirit is for you and for your children and for everyone that God calls. I wonder what it felt like to be in that room and to hear that rushing wind of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what it felt like to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt as they went to the people and told them about the gifts of God and about Jesus' life. And I wonder how the people felt as they heard the stories of Jesus. I wonder how they knew that this was the Holy Spirit. I wonder what all of these people will do now that they have the Holy Spirit. what part of this story is most important to you? And I wonder what the Holy Spirit is telling us to do with the gifts that we receive from God. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today about Pentecost is in the New Testament in the book of Acts. Sometimes I've heard people refer to this as the Acts of the Apostles. It's some of the first things that happened after Jesus' resurrection um, with his disciples so, and his followers. This is from the book of Acts, chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his or her own language. 
Utterly amazed, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, What does this mean? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now it's time to come before God in prayer. God hears us when we speak out loud. God hears us when we pray silently within our hearts. God hears us when we pray through singing. We can pray to God in many ways. And right now there's a lot going on in our country. There are people who are, who are hurting, people who are working toward justice, toward making sure that all people are cared for and all people are treated with love. So sometimes some of the things that we can see on the news can be troublesome and can, we can see hurt. So we're going to pray, uphold those people in our prayers today. We're going to remind ourselves about the Holy Spirit. And what is the Holy Spirit telling us to do in times like this when people are hurting? Let's come before God in prayer. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Thank you, God, for this time together once again. We pray for all of the members of our church family and our home families. We thank you, God, for and today, God, we rejoice about and sometimes, God, we are afraid. Sometimes we are worried about people that we love, including. God of love and God of grace, we ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we might go out and share your word with our neighbors, whether they're next door or down the street or across town, whoever they may be. Help us to spread your love in the story of Jesus. Show us how to work toward justice and equity and shalom for all. Thank you, God, for our church, for the corner that it stands on in East Liberty. May we be a beacon of hope and joy and love to all who see it. We thank you, God, for your many gifts. Amen. And now the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and your neighbor. Amen. <laughs>